This Republican assault on health care reform, folks, it's all about politics. It's about keeping their Tea Party base happy. It's all about telling the insurance companies to, hey, keep that campaign money coming in. Republicans aren't thinking about, I believe, real people. It's about people like Gerilyn from South Portland, Maine. She said, my son turned 19 last May and promptly lost his insurance coverage. It was a struggle to keep up with the bills. As of December 1, I was able to get him back on my insurance, and it is a relief knowing he's covered. Chuck, an engineer from Hyattsville, Maryland, who suffers from chronic thyroid condition and believes he'll be denied health insurance coverage should health care reform be repealed. Emily from Wimberley, who's battling cancer herself, would now face lifetime limits on what doctor recommended care her insurer will pay for. With devastate, Joseph Williams, a former corrections officer in my district who relies on Medicare for his prescription drugs. Within a year, Allison, a 23-year-old in Bastrop, Texas, who's completing her college degree, Allison would lose her health insurance. Nancy, a mother in Germantown, Maryland, who's grateful that the health care law has allowed her 20-something daughter, currently in graduate school, to stay on her mother's health insurance policy. As a mom, you you just worry all the time. You pray that nothing bad happens. These kinds of stories are shifting public opinion. 